Hey and welcome to designgibocover.com I'm going to teach you today one of the best way to create CD covers using Photoshop. You are going to get with this package 10 different CD layouts. And to find the design that you want to use, open the file that called CD cover folder. Above each one of the layouts, you can see the folder name that contains the CD layout. There is one folder that you are not going to see in here and that folder called all the CDs. On that folder you have one PSD file that contains all the 10 CD layouts. Using that PSD you will be able to edit all of them in just few minutes. We will get back to this PSD later on this video. We are going to start by opening CD cover 1 and opening the PSD that called CD cover 1. This is the CD layout that you are going to get. And on the right side, you can see the lowest panel. On the lowest panel, you have one layer that called CD layout. That layer using the smart object function, and we are going to edit it by pressing twice on the icon that on the left side of the layer. As you can see, Photoshop has opened us a new window, a flat window of the 3D layout. We are going to make all the changes on this window. Any changes that you are going to make on this window, will take effect on the 3D layout when you will save it. We are going to work with the layers panel. On the layers panel you can see the top two layers are locked. The round background and the middle circle. Those two layers are covering in white all the parts on the design that not going to show up on the 3D layout. So it would be better to not touch them. This layer is all the right reserved that you can see around the CD. This is on the right reserved background. This is the CD headline, the tagline, the headline background. Put the image here. If you want to add an image to this picture, put it above this layer. And the CD background. If you want one of the layers to not show up, press once on the eye on the left side of the layer, and the layer will disappear from the background. All the layers that have a T icon on the left side are text layers. To edit them, you need to press twice on the icon that on the left side and put your new text. To remove that, you need to press on the V that on the top window. You can do the same to all the text layers. If you want to change the color of the text, the text layer needs to be selected. Then select the type tool and on the top window you will have a color box. Press on that once and choose the new color that you want. You can change all the layers that have a color box on the left side by pressing twice on the color box and choose the color that you want. You can do the same to all the layers. If you want to add a picture to the design, you can do that as well. You need to open the picture inside of Photoshop and select the part that you want from the picture using the rectangle marquee tool. To copy it, you need to go to edit and copy and to paste it, you need to go to edit and paste. And the picture need to be above the layer that called put image here. This is it. When you finish making the design, all you have to do is to save it. To do that, go to File and choose Save. Now, when you will go back to the 3D window, you will see that all the changes that we made to the flat layout affected this window. And if there is something that you don't like in here, you can always go back to the Smart Object by pressing twice on the Smart Object that on the left side of the layer, make the changes that you want, And when you will save it again, it will take effect on the 3D layout. And you can do that as many times as you want. In this package, we also have some covers 
that using more than one smart object. I'm going to show you how to work with them as well. We are going to use CD Cover 9. Open the CD Cover 9 folder and the CD Cover 9 PSD file. In here, we have two smart objects. We have the CD layout like we had before, and you can edit that the same way as we did before. And we have also the CD box. To open the CD box, press twice on the smart object that on the left side, and it will open the flat window. You can change it the same way as we did before. Now go to file and save and go back to the CD layout and you will see the changes took effect on the 3D layout as well. Now you can make the changes to the CD layout the same as we did on CD cover 1. To open the smart object press twice on the smart object that on the left side. Now make the changes that you want. When you finish, go to File and Save. When you will go back to the 3D layout, you will see all the changes that we made on the flat layout affected the 3D layout. You can edit all the other CD layouts the same way. Now we save the best to the end. Go to all the CDs folder and open the PSD file that called all the CDs. We have in this PSD 10 folders. Each one of the folders contains one of the CD layout. Above all the folders, we have two layers, the two smart objects layers. All we have to do is to edit both of them, and it will affect all the 10 CD layouts. So let's start by opening the smart object of the CD layout. I'm not going to make a new design, because I already made one on cover 8. So all I'm going to do is to copy and paste it. Now when I will save this window, it will affect all the CD layouts. And let's do the same to the CD box. All you have to do is just to change two layers, and you will be able to edit all the layouts. This is it. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video.